All right, everyone. So we're also focusing on handstands and handstand push-ups this uh, cycle. But the hardest thing is actually getting upside down, breathing when you're upside down, and feeling confident enough to actually do a handstand push-up. So we're gonna go through the different scales of how do we get upside down safely, and then how do we kind of progress into a handstand push-up. So first starting out is the headstand, but working on the kicks to feel comfortable to even kick your legs up above. So AP's gonna demonstrate what we call the teeter-totter, practicing those kicks in the headstand motion. So his head's gonna be on the ab mat, hands nice and out. Some people like that tripod position. He's gonna work on kicking those legs up just one at a time. And then, not quite at the wall yet. This time he may almost to the wall. You wanna feel that wall. And then the next time he's gonna get up and he's gonna squeeze those legs, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Nice, awesome, and come on down. So your first step is kicking up and feeling confident, squeezing your butt and your legs when you get to the top. Next thing he's gonna be able to do is do an actual headstand. So in one fell swoop, now that he's comfortable and confident, he kinda knows where the wall is in space, he's gonna do a headstand and hold it at the top. And squeeze, awesome. All right, now come on down. So the next thing, he's graduated up from the headstand, he feels comfortable, he feels confident. We're gonna leave the ab mat there, just for reference. He's gonna start working on his handstand. So handstand is no head touching, strong arms, strong shoulders. So he's gonna try those kicks again, but without his head on the ground. Kind of learning where is the wall. Um, the wall is always gonna be your stopping point for a handstand until you learn how to do a freestanding handstand. Let's see it, Amy. Awesome, now he's gonna go up, I think he knows where the wall is, and he's gonna squeeze. Squeeze those legs. Awesome, all right, now come on down. Now your other option is, is keeping your hands on the ground when you kick if you do not feel comfortable just kicking up freestanding. So he's gonna start with his hands on the ground and kind of do those kicks and feel a little bit comfortable and confident with those strong arms. And squeeze at the top this time. All right, now come on down. Now this time, he is gonna start his handstand push-up progression. So he's gonna start in a headstand. So at the bottom part, He's gonna just get into that headstand motion, but he's gonna try to kip out of it. So he's gonna bend his legs, and he's gonna kip up into that uh, true handstand. Nice, and then come on down. All right, then one more. Awesome, and then come on back down. Now, he feels a little bit more comfortable, but he's not too sure about one ab mat, so he's gonna add two ab mats. This is the most amount of ab mats that you're gonna do in it so that your arms don't fully have to bend. And he's gonna do a couple handstand push-ups. All the way up, really kicking up. Good, and one more. Awesome, all right, come on down. All right, all right last thing is, the big kid, he's gonna do handstand push-ups. He's gonna do kipping handstand push-ups because it's gonna save his arms. He's just gonna knock out two of them. We never promise that the dog will not eat you when you're upside down in a handstand. Nice. All right. Now, if going upside down is just not in your thing, you can also bring up a box and kind of demonstrate that pike hold. So AP's gonna put his legs up on the box. He's really tall, so this box probably is a little short for him. And he's gonna try to get this vertical motion and kind of, so he can hold his handstand this way for a handstand hold. He can also work on dipping down, getting close to the ground, and then coming up. And you can also do shoulder taps if he's working on that arm strength. Just touching those shoulders. Nice. And if that gets hard, he can also go further out so if he's not vertical. And then the dog will escape and eat you. All right, come on down. All right, guys, good luck getting upside down. <laughs>